Alicia, let me turn to you. You, you and I have talked a lot about the black agenda you pinned. Uh, we've uh, co-authored a few op-eds together. So I want to ask you, you represent a few different constituency, constituencies here, quite honestly. We can have black faces in high places and it can't, it can turn out to not be great for us, right? Wrong. Hello, welcome back, everyone. Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. I hope everybody's having a good time, despite the media's best efforts to replace all those good feelings with hate and anger. While these Orwellian nightmares talk about unity from one side of their mouth, they're doing their best to divide and conquer from the other side. I gotta tell you, people, I love watching the media so that you don't have to, but they're making it increasingly difficult, especially when you're trying to enjoy Christmas. One of MSNBC's resident racial hate mongers, Tiffany Cross welcome the BLM co-founder and self-labeled Marxist Elisa Garza not to unify or to spread joy during this Christmas season but to accost black people who dare to think for themselves one of the worst things you can do on the modern left now before we get into this clip give me just 30 seconds to tell you about the only collagen I trust and use collagen is an essential building block in the youthfulness and glow of your appearance folks I decide to take ageless multi collagen and the results have been astounding get yourself a bag of ageless multi collagen today while it's still 51% off as an added bonus if you order today they'll give you free shipping free vip live health and fitness coaching for life and a free e-report on the 14 foods for amazing skin and a 60-day money-back guarantee go to www.healthwithdronetech.com and order today or click the link in the description or pinned comment Here's where we stand in relationship to the Black to the Future Action Fund. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did she just call it the Black to the Future Fund? According to the website, its goal is all about race-based political power, saying, quote, political power that is independent, progressive, and black requires resources. Your donation goes directly to resourcing policies and campaigns that have our interests at the center. Building black political power means we have to organize the resources, determination, and power of black people in the present in order to shape our future. First of all, I'm fascinated by a group that's centered around black power that uses the name of a movie that had all white main actors and was created by a white guy. I also love how Orwellian the entire page is, framing a communist black supremacist group as quote independent look there's nothing independent about a racially focused group that demands that all people of a certain skin color comply and fall into line or else they'll be targeted by powerful media organizations let's not forget that blm and garcia in particular are getting money from chinese groups that are linked to the ccp and they're open about it blm and garcia are essentially ccp assets that are sowing discord in this country for china's purposes it's it's not some kind of crazy coincidence that all these Chinese spies are aligned with Democrats. Democrats are clearly the closest aligned to the CCP and are obviously the most willing to be useful idiots. What we know is that we can have black faces in high places and it can't it can turn out to not be great for us. Right. Like in the case of what's happening with Daniel Cameron uh, in, in Kentucky. And yet right. we also know that people like uh, uh, Congresswoman Deb Holland would be an incredible resource, right, for the Secretary of the Interior because of her experiences and because of what she represents in terms of the makeup of this country. Uh, so that's what I think is at stake here. The fact is this country is still around 65% white, I'm all for getting qualified people of all different backgrounds and ethnicities, but if you want it to look like America, it's gonna be a majority white. Where's the evidence that Democrats, socialism, or communism have ever helped black people, much less in America? Everywhere I look, those systems have been destroying black people. Black people in this country have been monolithically voting for Democrats for over 50 years now. What good has it done them? Now they're being told to follow an ideology and puppets of a country that hates black people. Look, I want the best for black Americans, but I'm not seeing that from the Democrat party and that's why I oppose their policies. Now we have a possible incoming administration that literally said that if you don't vote for him, then you're not black. By the way, this MSNBC racist far left Marxist hate fest is brought to you by such capitalist companies such as Dell and Fidelity. Try to avoid using them because they apparently hate you for your skin color. That's about all of this negativity that I can stand in this time of good feelings. So I'm going to end it there. Let me know what you think in the comments section and hit that like button on your way out.
If you'd like to support this channel, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back. <laughs>